Hello and welcome to this HOG4 tutorial which will introduce you to command keys. Command keys are single button executors that trigger existing directory items such as lists, scenes, macros, groups, palettes, pages and views. Command keys are stored in the commands directory and can be triggered directly from the 12 function keys on the front panel of the console. As we saw in the previous tutorial, these keys have two modes and to toggle between user kinds and command keys, hold down the pig key and press enter. The current mode is displayed in the main toolbar. A new show file has a default view stored to open the commands directory, or alternatively you can hold down the open key and press the command soft key. To create a command key, existing directory items must be moved into either the commands directory or to one of the 12 function keys when they are in command keys mode. For example, to move the group named band onto a command key, select the group, press the move key, followed by a command key. Please note that the group is not actually moved, but instead a reference to the target group is placed in the commands directory. Also, any colour assigned to a directory item will also be assigned to the command key. If the colour is changed in either directory, the change will be applied to both. Like we saw with the user kinds, the first 12 positions in the commands directory relate to the first page of command keys. Once the bottom right position on a page is filled, when a new item is moved to the commands directory after that, the bottom right key will change to a page toggle key. Command keys can be moved around the commands directory or copied in the same way as all other directories. Ensure guard is turned on, then select an item, press move or copy, followed by the destination. To delete an item, select it and press the delete key. Moving, copying and deleting command keys via the function keys is slightly different as there is no guard to stop the executors triggering the directory items when pressed. Therefore, to move or copy a command key, hold down the move or copy key and press the command key. Then release the move or copy key and select another command key or empty cell in the commands directory. To delete a command key, hold down delete and press the command key. Certain types of command keys can have different actions and these can be changed in the list view of the commands directory. Command keys referencing to groups, palettes, pages, macros and views only have one action, which is to select them. Command keys referencing to lists and scenes have four actions. The default action is go. Let's now look at the feedback given by the function keys to indicate the state of the directory item linked to the command key. If I press my band group, the blue LED turns on indicating the group has been selected. Press again to deselect the group and the LED turns off. The state of pages and palettes are indicated in the same way. If I now look at the command key for my list, the LED is currently off because this list is not active on stage. When I press the command key, for which the action is go, then the LED flashes quickly to indicate a queue is running. When the queue is complete, the LED will stop flashing. If the queue is paused, this would be shown by a slow flashing LED. To release this list, hold down the pig key and press the command key. The states of scenes and keystroke macros are also indicated this way. When a command key linked to a view is pressed, no LED feedback is given as the view is simply recalled. In the next tutorial, we shall look at networking and multi console setup. Thank you for watching.